Where's your gem? Evening, everyone. Sorry, I was a little late. 
apologize. I'm calling the July planning board meeting to order. Um, we have a quorum with the combined uh, in person and four, uh, three members on uh, virtual, Steve Patterson, Ethan DiMaria and Dick Hermans. As per the, the governor extending the state of emergency through at least the 14th of July, we can continue to have meetings remotely. Um, okay, so. Uh, all right, first up is Mr. David Birch um, and his lot line adjustment. Now this was uh, discussed in a pre-sketch hearing uh, regarding a uh, possible major subdivision, but I guess there's a, a change. So right. um, do we have a, something to pull up for? Yes. If, uh, let's give us a second, we're gonna share the screen. That's weird. It's not there on my, hmm. but it's there on my screen, right? I see it. Wait, what about the offer? Not letting me share it to you. Uh, share a screen. Should come up the drum. Yeah. What happens if you hit shh? No. Advanced no. files? No, that's not. When you go to files, those are show, that's where it shows this. Mm -hmm. <sighs> oh, that's great when it works. Right. <laughs> it works. So it doesn't. Oh, they it up fast. I mean, looks like it's share. Yeah, let's see what happens. Oh, okay. No. okay. That was weird. Right. It usually it shows it. So, you want me to pull the hard copy in front of the camera? Oh, I got well, it. Well, we got you it. Got it. Got it. Just got it. For some you reason. all can it's see really this, correct? Weird. I don't know that. I mean, all right, good. Copy. All right, Mr. Birch. So, if you want to yeah, speak so up, so can everyone I, hear Mr. Birch? I currently own two yes. lots. If you see that dotted line that runs diagonally, that's the current configuration and what i'd like to do is have a lot line adjustment so that i could sell off the existing house on 3.782 acres i have a buyer and he's ready to move forward i'd like to do that and then i will proceed in the second stage with the realty subdivision which will be down to five lots originally it was a seven lot deal and then we went to six and it's going to be five but this lot will be taken off separately but so are you when you're saying five are you including this lot in that no it'd be oh, this lot then the realty subdivision would proceed once with this is five additional lots the five additional lots okay. um and does that line of the 3.78 acres, does that conform to what was on the subdivision? Uh, yeah. The map that you would show that us was the on sketch the plan? Map. Correct. So that line hasn't moved. No. It's just you're trying to do this piece of it first. First, right. And this is an existing house with an existing well? Existing well, it's a good well. You investigated the well, it's a good septic. Currently, I see yeah, it. We the septic about three weeks ago. Bill Baldwin from uh, Labyrinth. Now, was this piece, was this ever, uh, refresh my memory, was this ever subdivided in the past? Not this? that I'm aware of. Drew, as far as you know, is that correct? Is This has no subdivisions on it previously, this parcel? Yeah, yeah, Michael, I'm not aware of any. 
Uh, all right, uh, Warren, uh, how would we proceed with this in light of knowing about the other aspects that he's going to do in the future, or do we just handle this like a lot line adjustment? We're, we're just getting there. I'm a little confused because I don't have the file in front of me. Um, is this 3.7 acre that's coming out of a, a larger 23 acre parcel? Currently, Warren, there are currently two separate lots. I own one lot and I purchased a four acre lot, which if you see that diagonal line, it's, it was kind of a screwy line. Yeah, can you run the mouse down the diagonal? So that's the, the line of the existing subdivision, that diagonal line? No, I meant no. I meant, yeah, that's yeah, existing run, tax parcel one. I mean, run the mouse along the line. Along the yeah, line. there are two existing tax <laughs> parcels. And so we're doing a lot line adjustment All right, so that we can line. just sell that house off by itself. So and the house would be on a 3.782 acre subdivision of the uh, of that other lot. It'll just be a separate lot. So It'll technically, be 19, uh, 19 acres, you know, about 21 acres. So the house, which is on this kind of like very thin kind of slice of property, so it's it's like you're moving the line like this way, and 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 then. And then the more other logical, piece of the line like that. Two more right. logical piece for it. And right. then the tail becomes a part of other lots in the future. Do, do, you, do you understand what he's saying, Warren? Yeah. yeah I think so. Does he, do, do you have, can you bring up the rest of the map? Let me just see. Can you zoom out a little? Or, yeah, do that. You'll give one click. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. So I go point out the. Uh... Well, yeah, the problem is that the map doesn't show what the existing. Do you have a map showing how the parcels exist before the lot lines? Before you. Yeah. yeah. So you see that right diagonal there. line, Warren? Yeah. That diagonal yeah. line. Yeah. Right. So that's that diagonal line. Yeah. Right there. Right that's there the, the current says, boundary. That's that, the current boundary. So all the way up, line, all the way up. Yep. I see. That line would go away. Oh, I see what you're doing. Okay. Two line parallel with the northern border would be created. <laughs> so it's two lots now, it's two lots later. This is more yeah. logical, more logically configured so that then I can just sell that house off on that lot. And that driveway cut there like that's just kind of like splitting it in half and would you have to get, you get like another driveway cut is fine uh, yeah. wasn't there an easement for the driveway so that's the only hang up is, is the subdivision part. right that's a more question <laughs> so i guess yeah that's what we're looking for warren how do we proceed with this well, it's really a sub a two lot sub minor subdivision. Um, right. You can call it a lot line adjustment. Um, the only issue I see is the issue of segmentation of the seeker review. I don't think we have anything in our code that requires that addresses a situation where you're piecemealing a subdivision. I'm not sure, uh, but you'd have. The environmental review would have to be the review of all of the lots. What is it? Total now, it would be seven? Six. Six. So that would, you'd have to do a, I would do a long form EAF and just address. I'm not, I'm doing the it's got to be for the full subdivision because we know that eventually he's coming back with the subdivision. Oh, okay. Hold on one second, Mr. Burke. Warren, you were saying? I, I said that the, the, it only impacts the seeker review that you can't segment the seeker review when you know that there's a, a portion of a project being presented and that very shortly down the road, um, another project for the same property will be presented. So I don't think there's any prohibition on treating the uh, subdivisions separately, but you would have to 
evaluate the impact of the entire subdivision when you're doing the uh, minor subdivision for the two parcels. So, if, if assuming that do, there is, I'm not. I'm not saying there is. Were you to seek your review, Warren? Assuming, let's, let's say, a six lot subdivision like it was previously proposed. Let's assume that's meg decked, and that we approve this plan in front of us, and then in a matter of a couple of months, they're back to create the additional lots with health department approval, et cetera. Would that just be a technical review, no seeker review with that portion then? We went, I'm sorry, you were asking me a question? Yes. Oh, could you repeat uh, that, it's hard. <laughs> sure, so being that we had saw the larger subdivision map yeah. present, but we know that's the game plan, let's say. Yes, that we I'm do. i to make sure I understand what, what you're saying about the segmentation. If we review this plan as if it was a six lot subdivision, approve this lot line adjustment, and then in a matter of months, the, the applicant comes back to further subdivide parcel two, would that then just rely on the seeker review we're doing now and we would just do a technical review at that point, make sure there's health department compliance, erosion control plan, et cetera? Well, we'd have to see what whether he comes back with that. We don't know for sure he's coming back with that. But I, I don't know. What that, if you were to? I don't I think you, you would do the environmental review now. I don't see it as being a right. really extensive environmental review, you know. But no. you would But, you but would just, we wouldn't have to do it again later if it didn't change. Correct? Unless there was something in the unanticipated in the plan which wasn't considered in this environmental review. So basically, because we know that you have these plans, we can't pretend that we didn't. All right, that's, that's how the law, as far as the Fair seeker enough. review, yeah. <laughs> it uh, goes. Uh, and obviously, you could imagine reasons why, like someone might, you know, try to manipulate things. Not saying you are, of course, but just like that's why they have it. Um, so I, you know, I. Correct me if I'm wrong. Any member? Well, first of all, any members have any questions? Steve or Ethan or Dick's still here, right? Yeah. He's just off screen. Yes. No, no question. Um, yeah, I would assume that they would be amenable to this lot line adjustment. It seems fairly straightforward, as you know, once we go through the process. Uh, so, did you actually submit the application yeah. for this? You did. Yeah. All right. Um, did you submit uh, the EAF? The environment assessment plan. No. Okay. So that, so we, and you want you so so Warren, we would see like both maps kind of thing, and and then he would submit the long form with with both maps attached and explain. Yeah, when you do the seeker review, you'd have to say. Well, you know, what is the impact of five houses on that road rather than two houses? You know, that type of review. That's the way it would impact the, the, the review. And you had already even got like the uh, curb cuts yeah. approved, right? Didn't you at the last meeting? Did you tell well, us I'm, that? Or? I'm not telling you what the outcome should be. I'm just telling you what the process. Right. I'm, I'm asking yeah, just curb cuts are approved. Two curb cuts. Well, so, I, I had. Years ago, I had gone for a three lot subdivision right. on the uh, southern part. Oh, okay, portion. so maybe that's what I was thinking. Of. So, um, um, we, all right, we reviewed this. We reviewed Wait, Dick, the, what, what's up, Dick? Yeah, well, we, we, we reviewed the uh, six or seven lot subdivision, and now we're getting this. I mean, I'm not, I don't object to this lot line adjustment, but, um, what assurance do we have that we're going to get the same map that we saw earlier, that which we seem to think was okay? Well, uh, because if anything changes, we would it would change the we would have to redo it. Well, it has to come back. It's not approved. Okay. Right. What's that? Even if you yeah. assess the totality of the environmental review, the right. technical review is right. still outstanding on the addition. Right. It's not approving that subdivision. It's just right. Uh, it's just uh, evaluating the environmental impacts as a whole based upon this one 
lot line adjustment, that, you know, minor subdivision that he's looking to do. Yep. So we just have to look at the environmental impacts of the whole project. And if right. he were to come back to, with something drastically different, again, it's not approved. And then the seeker would have to change and we'd have to redo it. It would have to be uh, updated and, you know, right. just kind of like how Durst did, right? They had a, re well, they ended up redoing the whole thing. Uh, well, you, so you, much would, you would be conducting the environmental review of the entire project. Yes. But uh, what he was asking Warren if, is if we go through that environmental review and then down the line, he comes back to do the subdivision, but it's different than what we went yeah. through the review, he would have to redo the seeker. Yes, well, seeker would be wide open and we, we would put something in the resolution approving that to, the, to that effect, you should remember that. All right, but we have to prepare for the yeah. contingency. Okay, um, so you gotta get that long form done, submit it with both maps so we're able to evaluate it. Um, this is phase one, now phase two. It's at the kind of guess. Yeah. yeah. I can reach out in the morning. Yeah. Okay, but Sarda was doing the- uh, Doing the survey. Right. But Pat was doing engineering. Yeah. 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 So we have to get that long form done. Um, and we would have to have a public hearing for this. Yes, yes, you would have to have a public hearing. Um, can we set it now, even though we don't have the EIF in front of us? Yeah, or? yeah, yeah. Uh, you can give conditional prelim preliminary. Well, yeah, I guess we could give, or you could do at the public hearing, you could do conditional preliminary and final at the same time. Um, I don't know. What do you think, George? Sh should they issue a conditional? Well, I would think if the um, required map and EAF is here 10 days prior to the public hearing, then that would be fine. Because if anyone had any member right. of the public wanting to see it, or the board members yeah. even, right. they would have time to see that. If yeah. it wasn't here, potentially that runs into an issue. All right. So, so you'll give, I guess, conditional approval, set it down for the public hearing, yeah. and um, with a requirement that the, we, we get the whole map as part of the application. Right. And the EAF. Yeah. Right. And, and, and the uh, or, yeah. full EAF. Yeah. 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 Considering all the parcels. August 10th at 730. Uh, it's for the phase, phase, the whole, phase one, of phase the one of the, of the subdivision. Again, a lot line just and in the lot line just it's considered a minor subdivision. I just mean the language. Uh, yeah, I'll show it to me. <laughs> all, right, um, all right, so August 10th. I, I always forget. Do we have to vote on setting that hearing? Yeah, just do a roll, okay. you know, a voice vote. So can I have a motion to set the public hearing for August 10th, conditional upon uh, us receiving, uh, the, the board receiving the EAF and other maps and, other, and any other items necessary for the EAF evaluation uh, by August 1st? So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? All right, it passed unanimously. Public hearing is set for 7.30 August 10th at, here at Town Hall. So would that be the final procedure? Um, well, the people well, will have to listen to the public at that public hearing, and right. we have to take into account what you give to us. I wouldn't expect an approval that day. It would probably be the next meeting. Second meeting. Yeah. yeah we, have, we have to take all that in. We have to, you know, synthesize what people say and and all the information. You know, again, just like snap. You know, it's a long form. It's a long form EAF. So we're gonna have to. 
you know, look at. <laughs> I think it requires a 239 M referral to the county. Yes. 239. So, so we, we have to send them the full EAF and the correct plans when they review. So we need everything from you so we can send it to yeah. the county. We'll yeah. have 30 days for them to get back to two maps. Yeah, have the two maps attached explaining attached to the EAF. explaining what's going on, how this is one part phase one, this is phase two. Uh, yeah. I mean, you have an engineer, right? For, yeah. So I guess he'll help you fill that out. All right. Is there any other anything else to do with this tonight, Warren? Or we're good to move on? No, that no, that looks good. We have any other? Do we have another matter on? Uh, yes, we do. Okay. Uh, any other questions? Mr. No, I have no. I'm fine on this application. Okay. The next um, item do we have one is the application for a bakery site plan. Uh, bakery and cafe site plan review. Warren, did you get the? Uh, do you have this? Uh, quick, uh, quickly, I had a tough. Yeah, if you can, uh, maybe uh, put, this is, put it on the screen because I, 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 I don't have my file with me. I don't, I'm at yeah, home. I don't even know. We don't have a map yet. Oh. So, so what do we got? What, what do we got? There was something oh, that came in the email. I mean, I. Yeah, we have. A map. Oh yes, we do. We do have a map here. So we're gonna get that up. You know, it's at Pilch Drive where the Chinese restaurant uh, used to be in the doctor's office. Oh, yeah. Huh. Uh, and uh, it's, I'm sorry, uh, your name? Reverend Sarah. Reverend Sarah. All right. Uh, you want to just come oh, sure. a little closer? And... All right. Uh, so I'll hear you good from the mic here. Hmm. All right. So, if you want to just start, will you tell us about your your project? Oh, and... uh, okay. Um, yeah, I was I was really interested in opening up a bakery and cafe um, at that Chinese restaurant place. Um, it looked like it could quickly be made into a, a functioning uh, bakery restaurant or uh, cafe. I'm sorry, I used one word. And um, I'm going to be doing. Um, like the like, uh, live bake like online um, and the post office is right there, which works for me. So I'm gonna do some, do some retail like people coming in then also I'm gonna try to sell, like do um, like live, like have a tw like on Twitch so I can try to sell stuff um, online and uh, hopefully maybe wholesale too. So that way I, you know, I don't know how much business I'm gonna get. I'm hoping to get good business, but this gives me uh, other ways to it's um, and it says cafe too, so you'll be serving. Yeah, food. Yeah, uh, I'll be making. Yeah, you know, have a, a breakfast, lunch, dinner. Uh, you know, just uh, not a lot of choices. You know, small menu, and but mostly focusing on the the baking side. Unless you know, some people are <laughs> saying, oh, you know, they may want me to do wholesale amounts of food, but. That's only if I got those kind of orders. Otherwise, I would just be doing a small amount of that. And we see the map up here. So you would be on the south side of the building, I take it? Uh, I have, it's where those those big trees, I don't know if you know what that, the, where the Chinese uh, restaurant was. Yeah, so we just, we just came right by Stewart, right after turning. Stewart's. Right, uh, but on, on here, so in. Oh, so um, the, the no, it's not. There's still the the physical therapy office is still there, right? Right, it's right before the physical therapy. Office. Right, so it's this yeah. square on the bottom part of the building here. So there's the building, and then uh, Trisha, just read the mouse cursor down. Yeah, yeah, just see that that square right there, right? That's that's what you're talking about. Oh, right. I, I yeah. So I mean, yes. I uh, the doctor sent this over, and I sent it right to Mr. Weaver. Uh, and he said, "I'll send it." Yeah, I mean, uh, I can't. I don't. I really don't know how to read these maps. I'm sorry. And I just got it like the other day. So, so Drew, is that uh, 
do, do you agree with what I'm saying? That's the where this yeah, is. Michael, that's definitely the um, former Chinese restaurant area. Just in that square of the building. The rest of the building is other suites or whatever. That's correct. That square is set somewhat separately was the Chinese restaurant. Um, and so, and what is the requirement in the code, Drew, for this is just site plan review, correct? It's a approved use in this zone? Yes, yes it is. Uh, but as far as the site plan review, we're gonna have to see about parking there and uh, lighting. Um, I don't know, what am I forgetting? The entrance that is there. Uh, but there's a whole bunch of requirements, obviously, in our code for site plan review that we need to see. I mean, you're going to have to get someone to be able to, or, you know, to draw on a, on a map, like where this exact, you know, exactly what portion of the building you're going to be using, where the entrance is, what lighting, uh, what part, how many parking spaces you have. Uh, anything else, George, on for you? I'm assuming it's already has water septic, obviously. It was previously a restaurant, right? So that's a good thing. So she's gonna have to get bored of help. I mean, that's probably gonna be you know, she's need kitchen permits and stuff, but that, that's that's not gonna do with us. From us. But it's uh, um, what I'm saying is how, how long ago was the restaurant in operation? Drew, do you know when did it close? I'm not sure, at least a couple years. Yeah, probably three years. Yeah, I got to go back to that. Yeah. And also, I mean, I know from my town, I have to have a school department of agriculture because I'm going to be doing online. Myself. So I think actually that's, more agriculture. That's the state? Health. Is that, is it, it has yeah. nothing to do with us. It's separate from us. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm not understanding. What do I have to do? I have to prepare something else? Right. So the code is going to stipulate the requirements of a site plan, right? For a site plan review. So you need to have a professional. Who does that? An engineer, architect, something like that. Sometimes a surveyor can do some of it. Uh, prepare a document, right? So this is a land surveyor's map, which is the base of a site plan. But then where the parking space is, there's a water line, there's a sewer line, there's permits, environmental assessment form, lighting, and all those kinds of things that will have to be fleshed out and submitted as a package. Okay, so what is that? That's why I was asking. How what long is that ago called? Is it a site? Site plan. So, again, if you look it up in the town code, which is online, it will tell you everything that site plan has there. Drew Alvan, do you know what section of the code or where that is located? No. All right. Or perhaps you can you email her a. I would ask an engineer. Absolutely. So, you know, where she needs what, you know, that page or that section of the code. Yes, but I can do if that. If you one. get a professional, they should know, be able yeah. to look at this right. and know what to do. And then I have to come back and do another meeting or? Yes. And the bigger thing though is you got, if she needs health department approval, that's going to be your major. That's your major. Yeah. I need that before I submit the site? You just need to start doing it because they take a long time. It's nothing to do with us. You know, you, you can't open without that, but it's nothing to do with our, we can approve it without, you know, we could just say pending, yeah. you know, the health Condition. department approving it, but uh, they, uh, you know, they're, they're the one, they take a long time. <laughs> and and well, the, the thing is that he has to clean it out and fix it up and I can't, I can't do anything. So he does, like the thing has to be fixed. And so this time. So I can't, I have the health department come into us all fixed stuff. No, that's different. Oh. Like you're thinking the kitchen permit. We're talking about the outside, the sewage disposal permit, right? Wastewater, so, you know, bathroom, sink water, stuff like that. That all goes into the septic system, right? So that has to be approved and reviewed by the health department. So previously, it was a restaurant. Presumably, it had all of these things permitted, but I don't know. I can't speak for the health department. It could be that rules changed since that was approved, and then no, and there's this opportunity to bring it up to code. But only so, they can tell us that. It's um, <laughs> because it's been closed for more than a year, yeah. they have to look at it anew. 
So then they would be just looking at the not really the inside of the outside. Right. They're eventually they'll be inside as well. Okay. The kitchen. Unless you get covered under ag markets, then I don't think that department gets a lot. But again, your design profession will deal with it. Yeah, you, you need to have people that possibly now help navigate you through this yeah. process. That we can't really right. we can't design it for you. Right. And we can't advise you on yeah, I, I just went under like um, Julie's comment. Sure. Well, this, this is the first step. No, this is the sure. first step. This is called uh, sketch yeah. review. And then. Uh, <laughs> um, Warren, is there any anything else that. Uh, no, no, I mean, I'm just looking, trying to get the thing online. But, you know, does it require a special use permit or just the site plan? Just site plan. Yeah. It's permitted use. So, you know, there would be have to be a site plan application. I'm interested in knowing how the uh, the access road is going to be maintained. Oh, wait, I filled out a site plan application. Uh, uh, yeah, so, um, yeah, I had a question about that too. I mean, so this road is attached to Dale's piece of property, correct? And so this must have some sort of easement access way over it because this is not owned by dale right this this isn't a town road to a certain point it is not it's war what is the status of that road i don't <laughs> i don't remember uh i thought it, it was would, a town it would have been on dale mitchell's map but we don't have that Mitchell's in charge of maintaining I, I, I think it's still considered a private road and, and there's a requirement uh, that they maintain it arguing over the maintenance of okay <laughs> okay uh, See, this is right of way to New York State. So it was never dedicated to the town. Right? No, right. I don't think so. Um, yeah, they share that right of way, as I remember. That property in the back probably has to contribute. Well, potentially, yeah, it's between landowners. So is that anything that she has to have language on the map about that and the site plan regarding that or anything? Or is yeah, that we, not really? we, we would want to know how the access is maintained as part of the site plan approval. Right. So the you have to talk to the building owner, and you know he's going to tell you what the agreement to give you documentation, what the agreement is for access on that road. Because that road's a private road. That's not a town road. Off of eighty two. No, um, I'm a little confused with this. I don't. I don't own the property, right? I, I'm just uh, so he's the one. So I, I'm asking an engineer to do a site plan for property that I'm renting. That's that's. And then you we'll also need authorization from the property owner to be here. Yeah, there's a form. Uh, so provide the plan board. Well, she has his name here. Yeah, he he's filled it all out. He filled that whole thing out. Oh, did he give the statement signature of owner? Oh, he did sign it. He signed it. It's so served by the applicants familiar with. He filled the whole application. I just put it like that. Sure. I didn't really know. Yeah, it's a little confusing. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Is this is this all we need, Warren, as far as her acting as an agent of his in this matter, or is is there another? Well, form it's not a subject. I mean, it's just site plan. I mean, I so we don't need that. She has to go through the uh, her I imagine she'll have to retain some sort of professional to help her on this because you're going to need a site plan the, map. As far as the owner of the property, he signed the application. Yeah, they can they can give that's approval. That's good enough. Yeah, for her her to sign, or if she has a lease agreement that's already been signed, that would be sufficient. No, I, I think so. This would be yeah. I just I. I gave him a check, and but I thought I, I thought it was going to be opening soon. I didn't know he was saying no. He said anything to the site plan. Well, this is this is what you're going. This is site plan review process. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I understand, but nobody said like after this you have to make a site plan. Then it's going to be. Uh, I, I just thought I was after this right. meeting you approve mm -hmm. it, that I could open. Right. After yeah. just fortunately. So Ross, so I would get, definitely get that professional. Drew's going to send you. He said he would email you the section of the code with the requirements that in our code what is required in a site plan for us to review it. 
there's certain things. Like, like I started to say, it's not an exhaustive list. I'm sure there's others I'm forgetting. Lighting, parking, the sewer, you know, whatever's going on. I have to tell an engineer if you decide. Yeah, uh, he'll, he should know what to do yeah. once you explain uh, what you're trying to do. And talk about that easement that that um, has to be on Yes, that on. has to, we have to, you know, what is that agreement has to either be indicated on the map or a separate piece of paper, you know, saying what it is, you know, from the owner of the property. Uh, Whatever documents he he must have some sort of document saying he has access. Mm -hmm. um, it, uh, it was mentioned in the application about a deed, and I asked the owner about it, and he said this is all the address. The site was whatever that match was. Is that going to be required? It's a shield it's required. You can get it right from the Dutch County web page. Parcel access. So, so what is it? She just has to have it, the deed, copy, copy of the deed. I asked him. He just that might show the easements and access, maybe stipulated for that too. Yeah, All right. So. Oh, uh, and we don't have to do a public hearing for this, right, Warren? Is no, we, site we, can't, we everything has to be submitted before we schedule a public hearing. Or, but, but we have to do one, or this is a, our discretion? Uh, or? I, I think you better, yeah, I think for site plan for commercial use, yeah. I don't think you can get away without doing one, even, okay. if, if, even if it's discretionary. Right. Although it shouldn't be too complicated because you had a restaurant in there before. Right. Okay. All right. So you got some homework to do, and uh, you know, I guess this email. Do you have Trisha's email? So if you have any more questions, and Drew's going to send you that, and a professional will be able to help really help you be able to navigate through this process. And then. Um, and I would need, uh, I'm a little confused. I have the right to work with the engineer directly or I have to go through the old? No, you work with the engineer, but you just, uh, well, no, Warren said it was fine. He signed this as long as he signed the application. Right. So you, it shows that, you know, you have his permission to be doing this. Okay. Oh, we just need the deed showing that he owns this property. <laughs> and hopefully the, the information on the easement is there. Right. Or he has, he has asked me for it. And then um, you also, uh, if I start the process with the Department of Health, you, you need that information too. They would, be, they would ask for the information. Okay. Oh, so they need the site plan first, or they need well, they need like your sewer, the way where your septic is, or whatever's there, you know, and all that. They're going to ask for that. So they're going to need the engineer to work with them. Yep. But really, I uh, can't help the stress to get them started as soon as mm -hmm. possible because they're. <laughs> They're going to be the bottleneck time loss. Right. So the question is, yeah, which well, so I mean, in my town, they said, is, is most of your business going to be online or is it more going to be retail? If it's if it's more online, then you go to Department of Agriculture. If it's more retail, then you go to Department of Health. I don't. I don't. I, don't, I, don't, I think they're talking about different kinds of. Right. It would only be a department of agriculture if you own like on a farm, right? Yeah. Well, like a lot of the stores operate on the back of the market. Oh, do that. Yeah. Butchers, bakeries, a lot of them get agri markets. But once you start doing more retail and certain types of stuff, that like markets is go get the health department permit. So again, but that has nothing to do with our process. Nothing to do with, right to do with our process. That's something for you right. to discuss with your your so, engineer so and, and don't work. have so, them help you navigate that process. You need to make that decision. And, and Warren, does that matter at all? It doesn't matter at all as far as our permitted uses or whatever. It's she's doing the wholesale or she's going to be doing more wholesale or online. No, so no the only issue would be uh, site traffic. I mean, we would just probably discuss that. I mean, if it's wholesale, and there's less traffic, traffic and the well is more traffic. But uh, yeah, in doing more, you know, per in-person business would require more traffic as opposed to yeah. having guests come there once a day or whatever. But I don't think you're talking about levels that will rise to any significant impacts. 
or any problem. Oh. And we need a short form for this. Maybe there's something. Warren? I'm sorry. Will we need a short form for this? Short form EAF for this? Um, yeah, a short form is probably more so than short form yeah. EAF. Yep. As environmental. I mean, it's not a type one action, it's a it's an unlisted action. Okay. Well, good luck with getting all that stuff. Good luck with your adventure once if it gets approved. Uh, thank you for coming in. Um, you're welcome to stay. Oh. Do some housekeeping next. Uh, all right. Uh, so uh, the only other thing we have uh, is uh, minutes and stuff. So Warren, I think we're done. Uh, yeah, uh, I'm going to head out. See you all later. Take care, hey, Warren. Hey, Warren. Bye -bye. Drew, do you have anything for us uh, beyond... No, it's been a pretty quiet month. Okay. Uh, I think I don't. I don't think I have any questions for you. Anyone have any questions for Drew? Or well, I just uh, condolences on the passing of your mom. Oh, I thank you very much. That, so. Thank you. Sorry, Drew. We, uh, sorry to hear that. Well, thank you. Yeah, me too. I'm so sorry. Um. So there was some farm doing something on 83. Somebody else said it, one of the members that asked it, did we find out what was up with that? Yeah, we did. Um, they have, they're gonna get us, I've spoke to them, they're gonna get just a simple zoning permit for a farm stand. Everything they sell there, they're um, producing from the farm. There's no outside ah. products being sold. Okay. So it'll be Very a simple good. zoning permit, simple zoning permit for them. Got it, all right, good. <laughs> All right. Uh, well, thank you. Uh, we're just going to do the minutes next. Uh, thank you. Did everyone get to review the June minutes? Take off time. Yeah, take care, Jordan. Uh, if, uh, if so, can I have a motion to approve the June minutes if anyone has any, unless anyone has any changes? Uh, I'll make the motion. Second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? The June minutes have been accepted. Um, the only thing I have is uh, there's a solar law workshop meeting on Monday, the 18th. That's this coming Monday at 7 o'clock. The ZRC is going to be meeting with the town board, but if any planning board members are interested, you want to come down, you're welcome to. It's good. We're trying to make it hopefully the final meeting, uh, preliminary meeting before the town board starts to take up the local law adoption process. So, uh, if anyone wants to come, uh, I don't know if they're going to be broadcasting it. You know, it's the town board running it, not me. So, uh, the, uh, the time of that meeting? Seven o'clock on the 18th. Um, obviously, you know, uh, there's been some opportunities come through for continuing education. If anyone needs hours, please, uh, you know, take them, <laughs> uh, online stuff. And, uh, it yeah, was, there was something just coming up right? it went around the other day. Yeah. something I actually might do it. Even I need the hours. Um, uh, all right. Uh, anything else anyone has? Otherwise, I'll look for a motion to adjourn. Who's adjourn? <laughs> Can I have a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. <laughs> Thank you, Michael. See you next Close. month.